What's up guys, so today in this video I wanted to show you how to use the if not empty function or formula in Airtable and a use case for that and I'm gonna give you all the tools you'll need to use that very properly. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems. So whether that's Airtable, Asana, Slack, Toggle or any of those systems, help them integrate them and check out the link in the description, request a consultation if you're curious about that. And also hit the subscribe bell and hit the subscribe button and the post notifications bell if you want more content just like this. Without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so I'm actually gonna show you two ways on how to do this. And I'm gonna make this very simple here. So we're just gonna use this column. It has a few blanks in here. And we're gonna say, if this is not empty, then we'll have good. If it's empty, we'll have bad, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll insert one to the right here and we're gonna type in this formula. And there's two ways you can do this. So First, you just wanna add that formula field and then you'll just type if. So you'll have this if formula and there's actually not like an if not formula, there's if and then you could do a nested function with the not formula and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So this if function, your first operator, which is gonna be a logical expression. So then your second one is your value of true and then your value of false is the third one. So the what I wanna show you is you can just use the not function and you can say if this is false, we'll give the value of true. So if last contact equals, and then to do blank, you just put two quotes with nothing in between them. And so now you can come outside of that function and we'll say, so let's think about this. If this is not true, I'm just gonna start by saying bad and good. And we'll see if we're backwards or forwards with this one. All right. so we have it backwards. So it's kind of hard to think about because there's all so many logical expressions, so it's exactly backwards. So if, so that's one way to do it. So that's one way, if you use the if function and then embed that other function in there. So you can see with this logical expression, we have actually embedded a new function in that logical expression and that's the not function. And for the not function, all you have to do with the not function is it just re reverses the logical value of the argument. So you can use it that way. Another way to use it is if you take off the not. So if you just have this logical expression here, you can just switch these and it will work the same way. So if you switch those, so if you say, if this is blank, then we're gonna say bad and then we're gonna say good. So if this is blank, then it's bad. And if it's not, then it's good. So that's exactly what we have here. So we can say, so like if this is not empty, then we would want good. So that's what this is saying. So whenever you're using it without the not function, your value, like, so if that value is empty, then your value that you want to show for that, if it's true, actually goes in the last operator. So I guess to explain this yet again is if this field is empty, then the value, if that field is empty, is gonna be this first operator. And if this field is empty, then the value, if that is not empty, then you're gonna use that last operator in that if function. So I know that's kind of confusing. There's a lot of different logical expressions going on here, whether you use the not formula or you don't. So what I recommend is just typing it in, clicking save, and if it's exactly how you want it, then continue. And if it's not, just reverse those two values on the true and false and you'll get what you get. So if you're new and you need help with your systems, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. And also if you need help setting up the systems in your business, so whether that's Airtable, Sauna, Slack, et cetera, et cetera, hit the link in the description, request a consultation with me or someone on my team. And without further ado, keep watching more Airtable videos. Also, I encourage you to go check out the Airtable formulas tutorial playlist where I have, I think probably over seven or eight or maybe even 10 by now, Airtable formula tutorials just for your benefit.